Hello, V Team. Happy Tuesday. I hope the beginning of your week has been off to a wonderful start, and it's about to get even better after today's show because, boy, do we have a lot of great news to share with all of you today. So let's get things started with an update to a story Raquel brought you last Thursday. As you know, right now, everyone's buzzing about March Madness, but we've got the biggest reason to brag. DJ Horn, who's the son of one of our network engineers, Lamar Horn, is one of the talented players leading the North Carolina State Wolfpack to their final first, to their first Final Four game in four decades. Lamar even sent us this great pic of himself getting to hold the South Regional Championship trophy after the Wolfpack stunned Duke in their Elite Eight matchup. DJ and his team are now prepping for their next big game this upcoming Saturday against Purdue. So V Team, you know the deal. We've got family in this tournament, so let's do what we do best and show DJ and his family some support in the comments for today's story. We're rooting for you, DJ. You can hear it right behind me. And not only that, but folks, the NC State women's team is also in their final four. So a lot to cheer about for fans of the Wolfpack. All right, well, staying on the topic of sports, recently Verizon hosted an awesome fan meet and greet event with international soccer superstar Patrick Kluvert in New York City. Local fans visiting our Steinway stores in Astoria, Queens had a blast as they posed for photos and chatted with Patrick. This amazing one on one experience was brought to local fans through Verizon's partnership with La Liga via the El Partidazo program, a year long event series with a mission to bring La Liga's clubs and place players closer to fans in the United States. The event also shows how Verizon continues to deliver one-of-a-kind moments to our customers to connect them with the people and experiences that they love the most. And from basketball to soccer and now to some racing news. Verizon teamed up with Team Penske and IndyCar to release a short film last Thursday called Indy from 500 miles away. The film features Verizon's very own Scott Hansen, a network engineer, performance engineer, preparing to conduct a first of its kind test session at the world famous Indianapolis Motor Speedway, putting our network to the ultimate test. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Scott, Verizon engineer here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, where we're always putting the network to the test. What I love about IndyCar is just the sheer power and technology on the track on display every race. We have to prepare for race day constantly. We do testing in the stands, around the track, in the pits, in the suites. We test everywhere. We are monitoring the network real time. We collect data. We look at the data. We optimize based on what we find. Verizon has built a system and a network that can meet the capacity needs of a race day with 350,000 people here. We're here to serve the customers in the stands, but we're also here to serve the track crews and the drivers on the course. An IndyCar crew is making split-second decisions. No compromise, no breaks. On the driver, every millisecond actually counts. They need that reliability instantaneously all the time. The ultra-low latency is the biggest thing. We have over 80 zones of 4G service here. We've got over 300 5G nodes here in the track. We have to optimize and monitor everything to make sure it all works seamlessly for the customers and for the drivers, for the pit crews. The Verizon network is there for them. What a cool video, very, very neat. All right, well, V-Team, can you believe it's April? It's a pretty special month, and you'll want to make sure you tune in on Thursday because Raquel's going to talk all things Diversity Month with our United Employee Resource Group and some very special guests. But I did want to take a moment to acknowledge how awesome March was with all of our Women's History Month celebrations. As you know, we kicked off the month-long celebrations right here on Up to Speed with Sam and our Wave Global lead, Kia Wilson. That was a super fun episode, and I love this year's theme. Be inspired, be ignited, be included. Then to celebrate International Women's Day, the amazing women of the Verizon Leadership Council teamed up for a really special conversation filled with nuggets of wisdom. So good, I mean, we were talking about that event for days. So much happened in between, but finally we rounded out the month with Sam, who kicked off her new Wonder Women LinkedIn Live series with co-owners of the WNBA team Seattle Storm. They shared stories of overcoming tough moments, big career pivots, and more. You can check out the replay on LinkedIn by scanning the QR code on the screen.
Now, as for our responsible business efforts, many of these also had an important tie-in to Women's History Month. Last month, Verizon Innovative Learning celebrated an incredible milestone, reaching 7 million students. Many of the lives touched by this program, students, teachers, educators, and school leaders are women and girls. But that's not all. I'm sure you've heard of Verizon's Small Business Digital Ready program. It supports thousands of small businesses across the country with free online resources and during Women's History Month, we were able to surprise not one, but two women-owned small businesses with $10,000 grants. First, let's highlight the innovative Charlotte Bowens, who started her company, Conscious Gear, after a health scare inspired her to take up running. And when I say she took up running, I don't mean casually. Charlotte now runs ultra marathons. Like all good innovators, Charlotte had a problem and created a solution. When she couldn't find a hydration vest that fit her properly, she took matters into her own hands. Get this, her vest is the world's first hydration vest designed by and for bigger bodies. It comes in sizes large through 8X. Charlotte used Verizon's free small business digital ready program courses and live events to help her grow her business and her vest will soon be in select REI stores. Congratulations. Now, let's celebrate another incredible woman, Naomi Romo, the current owner of Angelo's Suit and Tux. Her family's owned this suit and tux business for three decades. Like Charlotte, Naomi also took advantage of the incredible free resources offered by our Verizon Small Business Digital Ready program, sharing that the marketing course was instrumental in helping her understand the incredible value of social media and reviews, even beyond just the ones on Google. Telemundo, Miami's local entertainment show, Acceso Total, captured the moment that our director of small and medium businesses, Jorge Zapata, surprised the Hispanic business owner and her family with the grant. Let's check it out. Felicidades. Hola. Tengo para ustedes la presentación de un cheque de oh 10 mil dólares por nuestro programa Verizon SMB wow. Ready. Ustedes van a recibir oh, esta cantidad. Gracias por su participa oh. participación y felicidades. ¿eh? Wow, muchas gracias. También. What a wonderful surprise. Qué linda sorpresa. And by the way, if you're wondering how Naomi and Charlotte qualified for those grants, folks who take advantage of at least two resources on the Verizon Small Business Digital Ready platform can actually apply for the opportunity to receive the $10,000 grant, which is awarded to a select few small businesses each year. And listen up and spread the word. Right now, city-specific grant applications are open to small businesses in Miami, Phoenix, LA, and Houston. You can learn more about the Small Business Digital Ready program by checking out today's story. All right, well, speaking of Verizon support and impact on small businesses, just last week, we were a proud presenting sponsor at the Greater Washington Hispanic Chamber of Commerce Business Expo in D.C. The expo was one of the largest gatherings of Latino and other minority small business uh, owners in the area. The focus was on ensuring that the thriving Hispanic business community is connected to as many resources as possible. At the expo, we caught up with President and CEO of the Latin American Youth Center in D.C., Lupe Quinteros Grady, who shared how she felt about Verizon showing up and to invest in the Hispanic community. Our young people are, is everyone's business. And so to be able to see a Verizon partner and see the importance in supporting um, organizations that are serving the community, to me that speaks, uh, that speaks volumes of, of Verizon and, um, and understanding that as a collective, like we have to really invest in our youth and um, as cliche as it sounds, right? Like they are our future. They most certainly are. Very cool to see how we're showing up for our communities and businesses from Phoenix to Miami and DC. B Team, all of these stories are stories that you can all be proud of. And speaking of investing in Latino youth, recently Verizon and the Association of Latino Professionals for America sponsored a college seminar focusing on women in business at the University of Central Florida in Orlando. V-teamers Donna Nevedo Sexton, Angelique Anderson, and Lucia Mendieta from our Lake Mary Engagement Hub spoke on a panel hosted by Marlene Jasso, a diversity ambassador lead from the university's relation HR team. The goal during this conversation was to give the students tangible resources and advice to thrive in the world of business and the panelists share the positive impact that working at Verizon has had on their careers. Here's an example of how the conversation inspired one of the students. 
I definitely learned to be proud of who I am, to show my personality and to stand up for myself, to never quiet down. That's something that I'm taking away today. And I want to thank you guys for speaking your heart out. It really inspired me and motivated me to, you know, keep going, keep being strong. And, you know, us as women, we can do it and we will succeed. <laughs> How touching. And in true Verizon fashion, the ladies also took part in one of our Citizen Verizon volunteer activities by writing letters of gratitude to mental health workers. And I'm sure they'll appreciate those big time. All right, well, before we wrap up the show, let's chat about something that's generating a lot of buzz, Two Minute Break. It's a weekly Q&A series featuring V-teamers from around the world talking about their jobs, families, hobbies, and so much more. Our current edition features Rakim Adele, a retail specialist and a member of our VIP program. Scan the QR code on your screen to download the Inside Verizon app and catch up on Rakim's story. Plus, read the great profiles of other V-teamers that we've recently highlighted. Later this week, we're gonna have a new edition going out featuring a wonderful V-teamer that I've had the personal pleasure of getting to know, Alisa Ned Rodriguez. Be sure to check out today's story to find out how you can have a chance to be featured in an upcoming two-minute break. With that, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Be sure to tune in on Thursday for another awesome live show. And until next time, you're up to speed.